Hey y'all, it's Crystal again from Beautifully Broken Crafts Hall and More Holes and More. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. We focus mainly on shopping hauls, crafts, DIYs, some recipes, some home tours when I redo something or decorate for a certain holiday. Um, I'm in the same clothes I had on for part one, and this is part two. This will be posted for Saturday, but right now it's still Friday, March 4th. It's 11.30 at night. So, let's just do this. I'm going to start with the two things that are right in front of me, and then I will be bending as usual to get stuff out of the bags that are next to me on the floor in the dining room still. So, I did pick up one of the cooking, one of the Cooking Concepts Mixing Bowl in white. Because I hear a lot of good reviews on this because it's got this rubber piece so it doesn't slide when you're <clears throat> mixing. And then it has the pour spout and the handle. So right now I have a set of mixing bowls. They're red. They're not my favorite color, but they're put away. And they do have a pour spout, but they don't have a handle. So I figured why not give this a whirl. And then I did get... From the tool bench section, one of the long reach and pickup things. We only had two left. Uh, because I need to pick up some stuff outside, like trash and that. Because people who drive by just throw stuff everywhere. Which is rude to me. But I'm not picking it up with my hands. I mean, I have, but I don't fun I've done to fun too. Okay, next. I'll set that one there. Okay. I did pick up two of more of the candy jars with lids, the small ones, because I didn't have any large ones, just for my kitchen, because I ended up putting the large one I have and the small one I have in the kitchen with some stuff in it, and I just like the way it looked, so, and everything that's in there in these is prepackaged, so it's not going to get stale. And then I picked up the cups with the lids, the insulated coffee cups, but we used to get five. And now we're getting four. So they're jipping us. So this will probably be the last time I pick these up. Because I only have one left. Um, and then, then this is not a Greenbrier brand. If I remember to look it up, I will. And then put the actual price somewhere. So this is two flexible cutting mats by Chop Chop. Flexible for easy funneling, will not dull knives, dishwasher, safe, top rack, PVA and PVC free, probably made in America, Connemar Group, LLC. Meets all FDA, all applicable FDA standards. I didn't know there was FDA standards for cutting boards and chopping mats, but hey. So you get two of them. And then there's some Easter stuff in this bag. So I did pick up this set of four Easter eggs. They're the bunnies, but they look like... I'm sorry for the glare, you guys. They kind of remind me of Peeps. So that's why I grabbed those. And then I found the Easter eggs. You get eight of them that look like cupcakes and donuts. So, and they got sprinkles on them. I just thought those were really cute. I picked up two packs of these. And then they had the gumball machines for Easter, and this time they had one that looks like an Easter bunny head, and the base is pink. And then the other one they had is, the base is blue, and it looks like an Easter egg, which I like this one the best. And here comes the cat. He just went that way. So, if for some reason the camera starts to move, Loki's interfering because he's adamant to do so every time I film. Here's that other pack of cupcake and donut eggs. I did pick up the floral foam and the cone shape. I picked up four of these. I'm not going to show you all four. They're all the same. So 16 by 9 inches by 2.9 inches. I already made something out of one of them. So that'll be in my 
St. Patrick's Day craft video. I'm hoping to have that up by... I don't like giving myself a timeline, but St. Patty's Day is, like, right here. Hopefully, if not, by the end of this weekend, by the middle of the week. I'm telling you, work's killing me. So, I've been a busy bee. And then I picked up two Easter dish towels. I'm only going to show the one, though, because they're the same. Um, most of them were, like, very bright and vibrant colors, and this one was the only, like, muted one, so this was just my preference, so I picked this up, and it's just got a bunch of different Easter eggs, and it says egg, egg, egg hunt, and carrots, and little, little Easter phrases on it. I just thought those were cute. And then, oh, there's the lid to the other jar. Last thing in this bag is the fabric gift bags. They have the bunnies, so I picked up. I think I grabbed two packs of these by accident because I only wanted one. Shame on me, I know. There's a fuzz on here, but they're cute, and I like that the ears got polka dots on them. So I don't know what I'm doing with any of that yet. Next buggy. I did pick up a roll of parchment paper. You get 20 square feet. They didn't have the one with the sheets in it anymore. But I like using this whenever I put anything in the oven to put on a cookie sheet. That way it's not like a horrible mess on the cookie sheet. Here's the other dish towel and a piece of my hair. Because I'm constantly shedding. I need a haircut desperately. Okay. There's the other bag of bunnies. I mean, other pack. Okay, and then I did find the um, carrot-shaped gift bags. You get two pieces. I thought those were adorable. What else? Oh, and then they had the mini fabric gift bags. You get four pieces that look like bunnies when you tie them up. So the tops of them are cut into like a triangle to make it look like ears when you tie it. And it comes with the jute twine as well. From the gardening section, I picked up the 20 piece of plant clips. I thought that was a good deal for $1.25. You get small ones. It looks like medium, maybe, or large in there. Like small, small, yeah. So there are those. Um, two more Easter things. I got these buckets. I just thought these were cute. They're both galvanized. This one has a bunny on it with eggs and florals. And it says, Cottontail Farms Open Daily. Carrots, chocolates, and eggs. I thought that one was super cute. And then I picked up the one with the gnome on it, and it just says Happy Easter, and then he's holding a stick that says Egg Hunt. Let's see if that'll focus. Okay, and I think the rest of the stuff in this bag might be St. Patrick's Day. And a couple craft items. We'll just do St. Patrick's Day next. So they did have a couple pieces of these decors. I picked up two different ones. It's just the leprechaun hat, and this one has the shamrocks, and for some reason, some pipe cleaners in it. I'll probably end up ripping these apart. And then the other one has the word luck in it. However, I don't know. I don't know why they did this. You can't even make it out. So I'm gonna have to mess with this as well. Here comes the cat again. I did pick up this shamrock. I just like that it looked like faux shiplap with the burlap. But this little raffia bow has got to go. It's janky as all hell. But other than that, it's cute. And then, because I can't remember if I already have it. I just picked up this shamrock as well. And then they had some tabletop decor. 
This was from last weekend. When I went in there today, they had nothing really left of St. Patty's Day. Maybe like a couple headbands left. That was really it. Um, but this one just says a truckload of luck. And it has a truck with shamrocks in it and a horseshoe on the side. Or you can hang it up. It's got the hang thing there. <clears throat> I also picked up this one. This one doesn't have a hanger. The glitter fallout on this one and the next one are phew, bad. It's just white <clears throat> glittered frame. Inside has a green plaid background. And then it has a pot of gold that says, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, the glitter fallout on that's bad. You gonna say hi? Hold on. Sorry guys, Peyton came in and she didn't want to say hi or anything. She was taking the big speaker to her room. Anyhow, another tabletop decor for St. Patrick's Day. It's green frame, faux green shiplap in the background. Heart in the center that says Irish at heart. Super duper glittery. She's locking her door so her cat doesn't break in. Which means he's going to start bulldozing her door in a minute. Just because he likes to get on her nerves. That's her cat. Does. Okay, and then a few craft items. And I think I saw Sharon. I think it was Sharon. I'll try to remember to post link. Post her link in the description box. Um, this floral garden metal ribbon. I've never seen metal ribbon before. So I just picked up, I think these were the only three I could find. This one has got like a leafy design to it. Oh, so I thought that was neat. Sorry, it keeps focusing in and out, you guys. But it is one inch by four and a half feet long, which isn't bad. And then I got this one that's slightly lacy looking. Same measurements, one inch by 4.5 feet. And this is distributed by Greenbrier. So you can cut this down with like tin snips or wire cutters. Probably should wear gloves to do so. And then this one's like, this one is lacy looking in my opinion very ornate oh, there. okay next bag last bag last bag yeah last bag I'm sorry you guys you know I got a bend Oh, I'm just going to show you because they're in my hand. Let this one die out already. It might have. Okay, so I did find the mason jars. They're a little scuffed up. With the butterfly lights on the inside. Well, they're not. There's butterflies on the inside. Now, I did. So, I got the green one. Let me show you all these real quick first. I got one of each. The red one. The yellow one. And the blue one. Now I pulled the tab out of this one. And it did work. But I think because it hasn't been in enough light since I did that, it's not going to work right now. It These don't move. This just lights up. They don't light up a certain color. It just illuminates the butterfly on the inside. So there's those. Um... Keep thinking that's my brain. Oh, but it's not. Okay. Some fabric. This is kind of kitty-ish, and I honestly only got it because I liked the, um, well, I like the cassette tape on here and um, the coffee because it says need coffee. It's just cute, but it is very childish-like. What? 
It is super cute. And then I picked up, and all three of these fabrics are 18 by 20, 18 inches by 21 inches. Just this one, it's just got a rainbow pattern all over it, so it all looks like that. And then this one is super pretty. It's got like some type of pink roses on it, and also like some peacock feathers. I just like these colors together. So I thought that was pretty. And a different kind of flower in there. Okay, what else is in this bag? Okay, I do have two rolls of the faux marble liner. Um, it's the shelf liners. Because I did do my drawers. All my drawers in the kitchen. And I was only able to do one shelf on the island and then I ran out of vinyl. So I picked up these two because they match pretty close to what I had put out for the rest of the shelves I want to line. And then that throw rug I got from one of the Dollar General hauls I did. Like those big, that big clearance haul I did. Um, I did put it in the kitchen in front of the sink. However, I had to get a grip underlay, a rug, a non-slip grip underlay, because I almost busted my butt on that thing a couple times, and so did Tate almost. But when she almost fell, I laughed, because, you know, they laugh at me for everything, so. All fair. And then I just picked up some cotton twine from the tool bench. Tool bench section. You get 420 feet, which isn't a bad deal. It's like a cream color. Mm -mm -mm. Almost done, guys. I did pick up a set of nails. So you get a variety of different nails, but the main reason I grabbed these is because I really liked the thumbtack ones. They're like upholstery thumbtacks. And you get 15, yeah, 15 of them in here. So those ones. Then you just get an assortment of nails. One beauty item, which is the Bolero Facial Wipes Cleanse and Glow Pink Pineapple and Grapefruit. The ones I got before, yeah, they smell good. I gave her agave and something else. I gave them to Peyton. Does she like the smell? But they smell like vomit to me. She liked them, so she got those, and I will keep these. And last, but not least, a couple more Easter things. They're just felt stickers, so this one is in the eight pieces, and you get a variety of different felt bunnies, full-sized. And then they have the carrots, so I grabbed those, and it's a nine-piece of the felt carrots. So that's it you guys for this part two. I hope you enjoyed everything. Make sure to let me know in the comments which one of my finds was your favorite from this haul. Um, like I said in the beginning, if you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Please make sure to give this vi video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Share if you'd like and all that other goodness. I love you all so much for spending some time with me. You guys all are truly a blessing. And I hope to see you guys soon.